Now, I am more than positive that some of you have already seen the Lucky Charms is more nutritious than ground beef debacle. Now, this all started when this wonderful little chart was released by a published scientific article that was collected by a group of educated people. And of course, it was government funded. Now, as a recent college graduate with a bachelor's of interdisciplinary biology, meaning that I did have to study multiple categories of biology and do research, I will teach you how to debunk bullshit like this. Let's pretend you didn't know anything about this and you saw this. The goal here is to always do independent thinking and dive deeper yourself. Now, if I didn't know this was government funded, here's what I would do with someone reading this on the internet. First, I'm gonna go on that highlighted link to see the full article. That'll take you to the wonderful list of authors right here who published this. I will say the most fantastic thing about educated scientific articles is that people who really want to put out research will hire and pay the most educated individuals to do their research, such as she who was a part of this. And Mark too. And all the other lucky individuals right there. Obviously, you would think that if there's such experienced people in their field, they're definitely credible. But let me guide you further. I don't know if it's by law, but you're technically required to reveal this. They quite literally gave themselves away where it says conflict of interest. Yes. You can go and read this lovely, super long paragraph that declare all the conflicts of interest in this research right there. And you could also be a free thinker and start looking up the ingredients yourself. If you've seen my green review videos, you already know how I feel about multiple corn syrups which Lucky Charms has cornstarch, modified cornstarch, corn syrup, and dextrose, which are all derivatives of high fructose corn syrup, which has over 270 FDA-approved names. On top of that, the well-known and infamous Red 40, which causes a lot of health issues in younger developing individuals, such as ADHD. I mean, come on, people. Are we really going to believe this bullshit, especially when we were bamboozled for the last three years?